when I grew up in Bologna, so the south of Belgium, it's uh, in an area close um, close to La Louvière, but that would not ring a bell to you. So let's say south of Belgium, the French talking part. If I could travel back in time, I would certainly not do that. <laughs> and the reason is that, I mean, you could be seduced by civilization, civilization like the Roman civilization mm -hmm. or whatsoever, but if you analyze it a little bit, you'll realize how violent and unfair it was at the time. So <laughs> I would not do that. However, if I had the possibility, I would be very curious to see what futures brings. So I would rather go one century or two in the future just to see how good we are doing. Yeah, sorry to be disappointing, but I'm not really a man of luxury item. However, <laughs> however, an ex would come immediately in my mind. So that's not sounds like a luxury item, but if you consider that you're alone mm -hmm. in the desert island, there is just a jungle in the middle of it, wild bees, etc. Well, an ex could become very much of your best friend very quickly. So I would, I would pick an ex, let's say. I would say certainly Winston Churchill, because mm -hmm. I have a lot of respect for what he did during the Second World War. Um, and the way he, he looked at peace and war. He was actually as constructive in peace as he was aggressive mm -hmm. in war. And I find that today the politician does not have even half of the courage of that man. So definitely him. I would probably invite, if I could, uh, the scientist who developed the uh, quantum mechanics. So I'm talking here about Schrodinger. Mm -hmm. or Einstein and okay but that's been called really three of them but no one of them are living unfortunately <laughs> Aikido I practice Aikido yeah really. well yes uh, it's Brilliant. not really a very active active sport <laughs> because it's more technical than it is uh, physical but mm. but it keeps you fit anyway yeah, yeah.